GLBP stands for Gateway Load Balancing Protocol and just like HSRB and VRRB, it's used to create a virtual gateway. One of the key differences of the GLBP is that it can do load balancing while HSRB and VRRB cannot. Let's get started. On this diagram, we have two routers R1 and R2. We're gonna configure GLBP between them. Both of them has his own physical IP address. This IP is the virtual IP address that will be configured on these two routers. For now, I've configured this as a gateway on these two PCs. So let's check this out. PC1 show IP, the gateway is 10.005. This gateway should not be reachable for now because it's not yet existed. It's not yet configured on R1 or R2. The same for BC2. But BC2 and BC1 should be able to reach this IB and this IB. Okay, let's move on to R1. For now, there is no GLPP configuration at all. Let's start doing it. We will configure the GLPP configuration on these two interfaces, this one and this one, because these are our internal interfaces that's connected to our internal LAN. GLBP number and the virtual IP 10.005 and let's set the priority to 120 the default is 100 and let's set the preamble The preamble used to make this router as the active if it has the higher priority. Let's set the weight to 10, for example. You can control it to set the weight between two routers. You can set one to 10, the other to five. Uh, the one with the higher weight will, will process more traffic than the other. Load balancing tweeted and the last thing is the authentication. Okay, so let's show the configuration for now. So GLBP. Now this one become the active. There is no passive for now. There is no standby for now. The active is local, which is R1. The virtual IP is this one. Seems great till now. Here, there was nothing yet. Let's do the configuration code. So the state is speak now. Let's do one more time. Still speak, should be standby. Still speak. And now, oh yeah, now it's standby. So the virtual IP is 10.05. The active one is 10.06, which is this one because it has the higher uh, priority. 
quality and this local one is the stand bulb so let's check now if this PC is able to reach the server on the above this server it should be uh -huh. yes that's great and let's check the other one okay so now let's trace to see the root you know what let's go through this one and then this one and then here so this PC go through this one oh yeah seven so this one went through six six and this one went through seven that's the load balancing so what if this router fail let's simulate it let's shut down this interface for example now all traffic should go through this and the state converted from active to initialize so the GLPP not active anymore it's initialized this one oh yes this one became the active one yes now let's see ping ping are you still able to reach yes and you are you still able to reach yes and what about the root trace through the seven yes that's good that's very good oh yeah great very good now what if we bring this interface on again this router should become the active yes I wait for one more log yes here is it it's active and this one sleep it's sleep now I think it should be standby by now and yes so now let's trace seven okay let's trace here six oh yeah that's it that's it so uh, i think it's working perfect tested and everything seems to be working perfect i hope this be informative for you and i thank you for viewing